Hello everybody, this is Rose of Sharon and I'm back again with another book review. I just recently read A Strange and Stubborn Endurance by Foz Meadows. And I had never heard of Foz before, so I thought, okay, I'll pick it up. I didn't really think of anything of the uh, cover or the obvious um, <laughs> binding on the side, which should have given away the plot point of um, a gay romance, which... Um, Honestly, to me, it, it wasn't altogether unusual because I've seen Yuri on Ice, so um, this is more of an Eros, and there's more intrigue and in plot um, versus just the intimacy between the, the two that are betrothed to each other. It's an arranged marriage, and... Uh, it, de it, it deals with rape as well, which um, might be an uncomfortable subject for a lot of people, and um, I would get into that myself, honestly, but uh, I really don't want to talk too terribly much about my experience with that. Um, to be fair, I mean, even though that was when I was 36, and... I lost everything. Well, actually, why not? Sure. I mean, it, it's been long enough, so I'm going to just get it off my chest. Um, I've been able to overcome it. it. It's taken therapy and me being comfortable with who I am, but uh, I just wanted to mention that I didn't have any trouble reading about it, even though, yeah, it, it's still triggers me a little bit, makes me uncomfortable, which of course is understandable, but when I was 36, I, I lost my dad and I lost my job. And that was because I just, I didn't know what I was supposed to do with myself and I couldn't figure out what was my purpose. I s still don't really know what my quote unquote purpose in life is, but honestly, I'm having a lot of fun figuring it out. <laughs> and if, even if I never do, it's not like it really matters. I'm, I'm living my life rather than just existing. That being said, one of my good friends, I had known him for 10 years, and he decided to comfort me. <laughs> That's what he said. And that night, I actually lost my virginity. And yeah, I thought I was going to wait until I was going to get married to do that. That didn't happen. Um, but next morning, he um, started just writing me out of the blue and I did not give him consent to have sex with me that morning at all and I just I felt dirty I felt used I felt completely discarded and um like I was a piece of trash <clears throat> and not only that but he didn't hold me close after that and nothing I mean there was absolutely zilch that came from it and I, I mean even before the uh the sex that we had wasn't anything to write home about so it, it just it wasn't a good experience I I consider it an experience nonetheless but it just it didn't really um wasn't one of the best times of my life, but the way that Foz describes uh, Val and Kay and what they go through um, is actually very healing. And of course, she has a <clears throat> an um, advisory to start the whole tale. It's a very long one, but I read it in like maybe two, three days, just because it was written so beautifully and resplendently and very vividly and richly and with a lot of attention to detail and just it was so um, intriguing to me that I just had to know more but um, this is another good one for pride month if you're interested and it's just it's a really lovely love story and one about how love grows over time even though these two were um, basically pushed in each other's direction and it's lovely to see how well 
um, both sides, both, um, uh, <clears throat> both races come to accept that it's perfectly, perfectly acceptable for, um, uh, men to have a romance like that and honestly i think that there's nothing wrong with that i know the bible says differently but in my mind in my heart i think love is love and um we should it, we sh we should um accept it but well, we should we shouldn't accept it when uh, it's being shoved in our faces that, that this doesn't do that it's that this doesn't shove it in your face this is more of this is how love is. This is what love looks like. Love is complicated. Love is messy. Love is awkward. And it, yeah, it's just, I love the way Falls writes. And actually it says that she's a queer writer, which I thought, oh, well, that's nice. I mean, I, I wouldn't have cared either way, but it was nice that, nice of that to have her mentioned and, and be represented in that way. Cause I know representation is everything, but, um, that's, I, basically all I have to say about Strange and Stubborn Endurance, I, I just thought it was a sensational book, and um, maybe I will open myself up to reading more um, writers that have that kind of background, because I, I think it's very interesting to see, to read different perspectives. So until next time, live long prosper. Chop, chop, chop.